Hello children, welcome to Kiss Story World. Today we are going to read Peppa Pig. Peppa the Unicorn. One lovely sunny day, Peppa and her friends were having lots of fun playing in a giant muddy puddle. Look, said Peppa, there is a rainbow in the puddle. It must be magic, shouted Pedro Pony. We are jumping a magic muddy puddle. We have to make a wish, said Molly Mole. Peppa thought hard. I wish, I wish. Don't tell us your wish, Peppa, said Susie's ship. If you do, it won't come true. Peppa whispered her wish very quietly to herself. I wish I could be a magical unicorn. Peppa had always wanted to be a magical unicorn. All Peppa's friends thought hard, made their wishes too. Peppa was very excited when she got home. She really wanted to tell her mommy and daddy pig about her wish. Then she remembered what Susie told her. Maybe I could just tell Teddy, she said to herself. So once George asleep and mommy and daddy pig had said goodnight, Peppa whispered whisper her wish to Teddy. Today I made a wish that I could be a magical unicorn, Teddy said Peppa. That night, while Peppa was asleep, Mommy Pig tiptoed into Peppa's room very quietly. She put a unicorn horn on Peppa's head and then tiptoed back out again. Tiptoe, tiptoe, tiptoe. In the morning, Peppa came downstairs with Mommy Pig. Daddy Pig and George were in the kitchen. Good morning, Mommy Pig, said Daddy Pig. Good morning, Peppa the unicorn. Daddy, said Peppa, giggling. I'm not a unicorn. I just really like unicorns. I think you need to take a look in the mirror, Peppa, said Mommy Pig. Peppa went to see. I'm a magical unicorn, cried Peppa, seeing her reflection. My wish came true. George giggled. He 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 he, unicorn. Peppa told everyone about her wish. I didn't think I could actually be a unicorn, she said. You can be anything you wish to be, Peppa, replied Mommy Pig. Dinosaur, gosh, shouted George. Yes, George, said Mommy Pig. You can be a dinosaur if you wish. But do dinosaur and but do unicorn and dinosaur like for breakfast? Asked Daddy Pig when they were back in the kitchen. Pancake, said Peppa the unicorn. With fruit rainbow, please. Grrr, what George the dinosaur. I see, said Daddy Pig. Fruit rainbow, roaring pancake coming up. Peppa and George giggle. He 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 he. So, how do unicorn get to play group? Mommy Pig asks after breakfast. Do they take the bus, drive, walk, unicorn scooter? Grrr. No, Mommy, said Peppa. Unicorn fly. Of course they do, said Mommy Pig. Wee! While Peppa the unicorn flew, Jaws the dinosaur stomped all the way to playgroup. I love being a unicorn, Peppa cheered. I wanted to be a unicorn forever. When they arrived at playgroup, Madam Gazelle answered the door. Oh, hello, Peppa the unicorn, she said. And hello, George the dinosaur. Madam Gazelle didn't seem at all surprised that Peppa was a unicorn and George was a dinosaur. When Peppa and her family got inside, they discovered why. All Peppa's playgroup friends looked a bit different. Peppa saw that their magical muddy puddle wishes had come true, too. It seems, it seems we have a few new friends joining us today. 
said Madame Gazelle. I would like everyone to introduce themselves. Peppa, you may start. Hello, said Peppa. My name is Peppa the Unicorn. I love rainbows, magic, and flying all day with my friends. Everyone took it in turns to introduce themselves. Molly was a magical ballerina. Mandy was a magical shark. Snap, snap. Candy was a magical witch. Susie was a magical e octopus. Pedro was a magical magician. Abracadabra. Can mermaid eat carrot? Rebecca was a magical mermaid. Gerald was a magical star. Zoe was a magical princess. And George was a dinosaur. Grrr. Now children, become Madame Gazelle. As there seems to be lots of magic in the year, you can all go on a magical adventure in the playground. Hooray! Everyone cheered. Peppa the unicorn and her magical friends zoom around and around and around non-stop. They all love magical adventure playtime. Later on, Daddy Pig came to pick, pick up Peppa and George. So how do unicorns get home from playgroup? He asked. Wait, don't tell me. They fly. Peppa the unicorn was very tired. Actually, Daddy, she said warning. I think unicorn normally get a lift home. Dinosaur, say Jaws, the dinosaur warning. I see, say Daddy Pig. Well, then you better hop on. Daddy Pig carried the unicorn and the dinosaur all the way home. After dinner, Peppa the unicorn and Jaws the dinosaur got ready for bed. I love being a unicorn and having a magical adventures, said Peppa. But flying was very tiring. Tomorrow, I think I want to be me. You can be whatever you want to be, Peppa, said Mommy Pig, taking off Peppa's horn. That's, that's right, added Daddy Pig. Today, you are a magical unicorn, but tomorrow, you can be a magical you. Dinosaur, go, roared George the dinosaur. Don't worry, George, said Mommy Pig. You can be a dinosaur again tomorrow. Everyone laughed. Hee 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 hee. Peppa loves being Peppa the unicorn. Everyone loves Peppa the unicorn. The end. Children, if you want to hear more stories, please subscribe my channel. Stay safe and healthy. Thank you.